بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, President of the Republic of the Philippines, Secretary Isos Jesse Teresa, Presidential Advisor on the Peace Process, Executive Secretary Salvador Miguel Dia, and Cabinet Members, Senate President Aquilino Pimentel III, and Members of the Senate, Speaker Pantaleon Alvarez, and Members of Congress, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Development Partners, Chairman and Members of the Bangsamoro Transition Commission, Chairperson and Members of the GPH and MILF Implementing Peace Panel, and other infrastructure of the peace process, Members of the Central Committee of the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, uh, the Malaysian facilitator, Dato Kamaru Din, of the GPH MILF peace process, brothers and sisters in the Moro National Liberation Front, brothers and sisters in the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, fellow Mujahideen, friends, ladies, and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good evening to everyone. At the outset, allow me to thank and the leadership and the members of the Bangsamoro Transition Commission for completing its tasks of drafting the Bangsamoro Basic Law. Let me congratulate all of you for a job well done. The composition of the Commission, which drew its membership from government and MNLF and MILF and other sectors demonstrated our ability to rise above our partisan interests and to work for the welfare of our people. As we submit today the draft Bangsamoro Basic Law, we consign to the President the hope and dreams of the Bangsamoro people. As we hand over to, your, to, to, the, to, to the President the draft Bangsamoro Basic Law, we put our trust and confidence in the process of government. As we submit to you, Mr. President, the draft Bangsamoro Basic Law, we hold on to the promise of the fulfillment of the covenant we signed three years ago with the government. Today marks the end of our active participation in the shaping of the basic law and commences our complete trust in the ability of government to deliver on the promise of peace and development of our homeland. As the government takes over the shepherding of the Bangsamoro Basic Law, we can only hope that the spirit that inspired us to forge ahead with peace, despite all the challenges, will animate our partners in government to enact a law that shall embody our people's dreams and aspirations. We have gone this far in our journey achieve peace and fulfill our mutual commitment to uplift the condition of our people. That partnership has brought to us to this stage, the passage of the Bangsamoro Basic Law and the establishment of the Bangsamoro government. We live in a very dangerous times. A couple of years ago, as we watched with agony the systematic dismantling of the first draft of the BBL in Congress. We also observe with growing concern the increasing frustration of our people and the fearful rearing of the ugly head of violent extremism. Today, we watch with utter disgust at the destruction that violent extremism has inflicted in the city of Marawi. These misguided people 
has filled the vacuum created by our failure to enact the basic law and feed into the frustration of our people. Even as we speak, fighting and destruction in Marawi continues. I ask therefore that we pause for a minute of silence and say a prayer for the very for the brave men and women who stood against violent extremism, for the civilians who have died, and for, the, for those who have displaced, for those who have shown courage by saving lives despite putting their lives in danger, and for the hundreds of civilians still trapped in the conflict zone and whose suffering no words can describe. The danger of violent extremism, that it feeds into the frustration of our people and take over the narrative of historical injustice so that it can justify its virulent ideology, which in reality is never linked to the national aspiration of our people. But because it exploits the narrative of historical injustice, it is important to address legitimate grievances and correct historical injustice so that it will be denied any semblance of legitimacy. Mr. President, we hear you speak of the need to address historical injustice committed against our people. And we marvel at the case, at the ease with which you narrate the historical basis of our cause. Today, at a crucial moment in our history, you have been given the unique privilege of correcting that historical injustice by entrenching the aspiration of our people through the enactment of this Bank Samoro Basic Law. We trust you. We trust that you will shepherd the passage of this law and see through the establishment of the Bank Samoro government. By this document, Mr. President, you would have taken the first step in correcting the historical injustice committed against our people and laid the foundation of a more just country. By this joint action, we have co-founded a new Philippines, a new country firmly set on the unshakable foundation of justice and truth and bequeath upon our succeeding generation, a country un united but respecting and drawing strength from its diversity. Finally, let me express in behalf of the MILF and the Bangsamoro people our very sincere appreciation to Secretary Jesse Doresa for recommending to the President the certifying of the BBL as urgent bill during its endorsement to Congress. We pray to Allah that the President will highly consider such important step which will ultimately hasten the process and ensure that the agreed roadmap in the peace process will be made, inshallah. Thank you very much and may peace be unto you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi